The UK deepens cooperation with India with new partnership deals on trade, energy and defense as the West attempts to draw New Delhi away from Russia. Let's pick up on that India story. Uday Baska, director of the Society for Policy Studies, joins us live now from New Delhi for more. Mr. Baka, Baska, both India and the United Kingdom have shared interest in keeping the Indo-Pacific region free, open and rules-based. How significant, though, is this new defense partnership deal that we know of? I mean, can it overcome the legacy issues to do with mistrust, which UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss herself said in March have to be addressed? I would say that at the moment there is potential, but Britain is not in a position to step in and be a major arms supplier as far as India is concerned. And as regards the Indo-Pacific, yes, there is a shared interest about a rules-based maritime order. But if you look at the geography, Britain is not an effective player in the Indo-Pacific. The very fact that we have four nations in the quad grouping, that is the United States, Japan, India, and Australia, would give you an indication that as of now, the UK is not seen as a very significant player in the strategic and security affairs, both of the Indo-Pacific and as far as India is concerned in a bilateral sense. But I think the visit of Mr. Johnson is important because it is looking at areas where perhaps the bilateral could be deepened, particularly as far as the free trade arrangement and the agreements are concerned. And the new focus on defense and new technologies, there is potential, but at the moment, I don't think Britain can step in in any significant way. No? Right, right. So uh, what I hear you say is it can't replace Russia as a strategic ally. Uh, you have said it doesn't have enough oil, it doesn't have the right type of military equipment that, that India might need. But which areas of new engagement on those defense capabilities might the UK be able to work, uh, which will most benefit India? Well, a quick sort of, you know, I would say, correction if I may, India is not a strategic ally of Russia. Russia is very important for India as a partner country, particularly as a supplier of military inventory. But there is a certain sensitivity in India about being termed as a military ally of any country. That's the first point. The second is, as far as Britain is concerned, I think the new technologies, particularly cyber and artificial intelligence, Britain does have, I think, a credible profile. And therefore, if India wants to invest in what are called as the new technologies, the new global continuum, which is maritime, cyber, space, and spectrum, then Britain becomes a viable partner. But much would depend on the kind of investment that both sides can bring to the table. Because right. there are some stark numbers. Britain does not figure in the top five countries for India as an export destination, nor for investment. So those have to change. Otherwise, I think uh, it would be a long haul. So the issue of Ukraine and the war there was on the table during these talks. There's been huge disappointment in the United Kingdom on India's stance on this war and uh, its position vis-a-vis -vis Russia, its, its, its friendship with Russia. Uh, is there any chance at all that India will go harsher on Russia? Uh, will it calibrate perhaps its position? I would say that India would listen to Mr. Johnson very carefully. He's a visiting prime minister. Britain has a lot of goodwill in India. It's a legacy relationship. But I do not see India making any radical or major changes based on this one visit. Because as far as India is concerned, it has conveyed to the global community about the compulsions and the reasons why it has taken the position that it has. And I think a good indicator about the predicament of most countries is perhaps reflected in the IMF meeting, where if you recall that not too many countries left the room when the Russian foreign minister was speaking. And I think that would perhaps convey the kind of, I would say, balancing act that many countries are doing 
in relation to the Russia Ukraine war. And India at a has conveyed to the global community why it is taking the position that it has till now. But it's an evolving position. India has deplored certain actions of Russia in its own statements. But as I say, it is evolving at this point in time. Mr. Baska, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us. Uday Baska there from the Society of Policy Studies in New Delhi.